Alright, alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rakakodash. That one is my apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to all the brothers doing this work and risking their lives to do so. Um, I just was scrolling across Facebook and I ran across this video right here. It says, um, a few hours ago in uh, Israel, and you can see how it is. I guess it's been some, some missiles being launched. Or whatever um, and I wanted to point your attention to the end of the video when this explosion happened you see, you see something in the top left corner if you look it's a quick flash it's an item it's something up there to the top left it shines so I slowed it down And this is exactly what I saw, a chariot. This is no doubt a chariot. As you can see, it's a chariot of the Lord. Now, this this inspired me to do a video. You know, it was just on my spirit, how the Lord is uh, over there staring at that war that's going on over there, staring at the spirits of those, those heathens over there. Um, Joel chapter two, no, Joel chapter three. This is, uh, Joel chapter 3. Let me see. Let me get to the point. Uh, mm, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I, I am strong. And assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. And as the mighty ones is talking about the, uh, the angels. Uh, let the, the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh's Shapat, which means Yahweh's judgment. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So that's exactly what the Lord is doing. He's, he has his angels over there uh, stirring up the spirits of those those heathens, man, causing them to make war because it's, it's the, 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 the third world's war is coming to pass, man. And these angels are over there, you know, stirring up the spirits of those people. Great River Euphrates. <clears throat> it's in the book of Revelations. So this is Revelations one, I mean sixteen and one. And I heard a great voice out of the out of the temple saying to the, the seven angels, "Go your ways and pour out the veils of the wrath of the Most High upon the earth." I wanted to turn your attention to, um, I think this is the right one I'm looking for. Uh, no, that's not, that's not the right one. Because his angel, the Lord has his angels over there in that land. This is Revelation 9 and 14. Saying to the Lord, I mean, saying to the sixth angel, which hath the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. Right. Talking about that therm the therm thermonuclear uh, thermonuclear missiles. And that son the third part of men is talking about the wicked. Cause you have three classifications of men. You got the sons of God, the sons of men, and the sons of wicked, man. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand. 
and her and I heard a number of them. And that's talking about those nuclear missiles, which are uh, the, the warheads. This is where the power is at. If you go back to uh, go up to verse twelve, it says one woe is past, and behold, there come two woes hereafter. That's talking about World War Three. I mean World War Two and World War Three, and this World War Three is approaching. This is verse sixteen and uh, seventeen. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of genith and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions, and out of their mouth issued fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three were the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone, which issued out of their issued out of their mouth. Their power is in in their mouth and their and in their tails, for their their tails are like a serpent and and had heads, and with them they do hurt. And that's talking about those new thermonuclear missiles. And the rest of the men which were not killed by the plagues, yet repented not of their works, nor of their nor of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idol idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk, ne neither repented they of their murders. Or their sorceries, no fornication, no their thefts. So I wanted to pull that out real quick because that speaks about what's going on over there in the west. I mean, yeah, in the in the east a lot. We in the west, in the east, those angels are over there, you know, and they and they getting prepared right now. And that time has not come yet because it's gonna be a specific hour, a day, and a time when they the Lord is gonna loose those angels. And guess what? Those, those angels are gonna uh. Which, which is uh, those angels are gonna get to destroy him, man. Those angels are gonna put it in the spirit of those heathens to launch those nuclear missiles, man. And the Lord Himself is gonna put His spirit in those missiles, man. It's gonna burn you, people. Put ye in the sickle, for the harpist is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full and the fat overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened. Why? Because of those nuclear missiles, man. Because of all this, all this uh, deep, thick clouds, you know, from the missiles is going to cover up the sun, man. You know, it's going to be a very dark day. And on top of that, when a, a nuclear missile goes off above the uh, atmosphere, above the Earth, Earth's atmosphere, it causes an electromagnetic pulse, which, are, which is in a term is EMP, which destroys all electronics, everything. It even shuts down cars. You know, it shuts down cars. <clears throat> All the technology, everything is going to be darkened, man. You know, it's going to be a very dark day on this earth. Um, The Lord shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. And yet, But Yahweh will be a hope of his, for his people and the strength of, children, of the children of Israel. So, you know, I just wanted to get that real quick through the spirit. This is a little quick hit. Speaking about the valley of the destruct decision, which the Lord is finna de destroy uh you heathens, he's gonna devour you heathens over there, and uh he's gonna judge two thirds of his people. So with that, man, I hope people was edified with this lesson. Say shalom.